Well, it's Tuesday. I don't know what I'm gonna do today yet. Well, there is some spraying I could do. Here's my project list. I gotta clean up that wheat mess under the dryer there, right there. I wanna keep cleaning up scrap onto the trailer so we can start tidying this place up. We got about 70 acres of wheat stubble, more like 80 to spray. Got to get this thing going, this roller mill. We just bought this at an auction so we can crush the corn up that we feed to the cows. For starters, we're gonna load this up with scrap because I am sick of all the junk around here. Uh, so if we get that fridge out of here, we'll get those fridges out of here with that scrap in it. We'll throw some miscellaneous scrap in there. Then that mess will be largely cleaned up. Those dual bands probably will scrap because nobody wants those. That is a lawn roller my brother's making. I'll set that aside. That fertilizer box right there is from the old corn planter. We don't need that anymore. So that can get cut up, I guess, and thrown in the dumpster. Those are from the old, old combine, the 9500 that we had that burned up in 2016. We don't use those anymore. Maybe I could put those on a combine for them and see if anybody wants them. Then we got to clean up this shed. Still has a ways to go. Okay, so step one is we're gonna get that tank filled up so that it's ready to spray. When we get a chance to spray, we can load right up. But first I gotta empty this tank out because it's pretty scummy. There's only like 100 gallons, or not even, 50 gallons in it. That'll be first order business. if it's like the humidity or if the gremlins have just gotten into every gas motor around here this one and the air compressor up until like this summer they've run great well this one's brand new now i can't get any of them to start she won't go it's just a little motor and you could spend all day trying to get the dumb thing to work Maybe it needs fuel stabilizer in it. It's very aggravating when you have systems so that things should go smoothly and then the system just doesn't work. I'm gonna just give it a break to think and then I'm gonna get try it again. And if it doesn't go, I'm gonna kick it. And then after I'm done kicking it, I will probably take it to someone to fix it. Choke on gas. On. Ready? Gas on. Gas on. That's off. On. Gas all the way up. All right. Step one to fixing small engines is you always check the gas. I looked in the gas tank and it had like a greenish color to it. Gas, in my experience, is supposed to be like more bluish. I dumped the gas out into a oil can and then I put new gas in it. And do you know how many pulls it took to start it? Two. I'm not really sure why the old gas wasn't any good. It either A, got water in it from when the water was spraying all around here or B, I let a couple people borrow it and maybe they put different gas in it that it doesn't like. I have had an experience once where there was a small engine on a chipper shredder and I put uh, like high octane fuel in it that had no ethanol and the thing would not start. Dumped the gas out, went and got 87 that had ethanol in it and it started right up. I wonder if these newer engines are just built to take the crummy gas, I guess. Maybe that's what it is. Well, now it doesn't want to prime. Uh, I put the small hose in there to fill up. The more water's in the tank, the more it'll push through, and eventually it will prime. I'm gonna try to wash all that wheat crap out of it. Fire hose. So 
So that's how you fix a gas engine in three easy steps. Dump the gas out, make sure the gas tank is clean, put new gas in. I think I could reduce it to two steps though. Now it's time to pick up. What are we gonna do first? I'm gonna take these old chairs and smash them so they don't take up so much space. And then I'm gonna get that old freezer, fridge freezer thing right there. Put those grills and crud in it. And just, I'm just gonna pile stuff on here. There, that pile is about everything that's gonna fit on this load. And then I'm gonna have to take the torches and cut this in pieces so that that'll fit. That frame would be good for something, but I can't think of anything that it would turn into. My rule is if I can't picture what I would make that piece of scrap metal into, I have to get rid of it. That way I don't hoard things. And then it sits around for 20 years. beginning to get hot. You know what happens to my videos when I get hot. They become non-existent. <laughs> oh, that wasn't that funny. I don't know why I even laughed at that. They charge you for tires at the scrapyard. This is my method for removing them with the sawzall, except you can't get the last little bit. It's down by the rim, so you have to like pry on that part to get that off. When I said pry, I meant torch. I'm gonna try melting it. Hopefully I don't blow up. Not working. <coughs> that stinks. Oh, not doing that again. I haven't gotten those tires off yet, but I am hungry and I'm ready for lunch and I've been denying that I was hungry so that I could finish this project, but now I'm like I just feel like going home to get some lunch. Exciting stuff, I know. Woohoo! Time you're gonna do a roll, right? That was pretty cool. Woo! Oh, Ben wants to try. Hey, Ben, your turn. Yeehaw! Wait, watch out for Ben. <laughs> <laughs> got back from lunch and the sun is like sweltering right now so I'm gonna try to think of some inside projects I can do I know I gotta go see if I have enough roundup in 2,4-D to spray these 80 acres of wheat stubble that I have but right there that's enough roundup for 60 acres and I have 76 acres. 
I have enough 240. We need one more box of Roundup. I've got more chemicals on order. I'm gonna go get the 140 off that lime spreader that I had it on and going to get the monitors out of the 160 and put them in the 140 to get the 140 back on my sprayer. I gotta go check this weed that's out here growing. From the road, this kind of looked like it could be tall water hemp, but it's just lamb squirt. Got the spreader. Oh, that looks like a good spot for it. Bye-bye, spreader. All right, let's go hook up the oh, oh, sprayer. Hooked up. I'm gonna go pull it over by the 160 so I can get all the monitors and stuff out of the other tractor. Okay, first I gotta get a speed GPS receiver off the back of the cab here without falling. Hook stuck. Magnetized to something. Alright, well, I'll put you guys here. There's that. I'll take this monitor out first. Lost my nut. Um, Hey there, Cricket. Can I borrow your truck? All right, so I stole Dad's truck this morning because we are gonna go drop that scrap off at the scrap yard. Come on, Sasquatch. We got a few odds and ends in this general area here to pick up. The wire goes in the back of the truck. I'm not gonna make as much money on this load as I could due to the fact that I'm just throwing stuff in and not sorting it. I just wanna get it out of here. All right, so I'm trying to find a pair of cutters to cut that wire with. Dad, oh, Dad has a pair in his truck. Okay, that's secure, secure. I'm gonna leave that for now in case something happened and we wanted to save the disc blades off that cultivator. I don't picture it happening, but you never know. Let's get out of here. Let's ski daddle. Hauling scrap is kind of tricky. It's on a flat trailer, it's so loose. So you gotta bounce around a little bit and then go back and check your straps. Make sure they're still tight. I am sweating like a dog. Wait, dogs don't sweat. I just had to unload all that by hand. Boom, trailer is empty, as you can kind of see. Cha-ching, we made $389, I think. All right, well, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Make sure you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And by the way, we're up to 65 subscribers now. Last week, so we've gained about 10 in just a few days. So keep sharing our videos on your social medias so that we can gain some followers because if we can hit 100 by October 17th, we are giving away a $100 gift card. So don't forget about that. Like and subscribe right now. Do it. Okay, see you in the next video. Look out, Nelly. Okay, I'm, I'm giving up for now. Oh. These are all my tools that I'm keeping. So I have this many tools left. I've been taking my screwdriver and my wrench and going to find them. So these are my only tools I have. Okay, can you use your strong arm to take this out? Mm, there. They are getting bigger and bad. Benjamin, what are you getting into? You got in the mud, huh? Got out. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe. All right. Good job. We fixed it.